Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create foreign key constraint on multiple columns in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and take a look on the definition first and then we will perform a demo. The definition is foreign key in a table is a column or group of columns that provides a link between data in two tables. The foreign key in a table points to the primary key in another table. So we need to understand from here there are two tables involved let's say we have table a that should be having a primary key and then we'll create the table b that will be creating a, uh, we will be creating with the foreign key that will use the primary key from table a let's perform the demo and take a look uh, and uh, then uh, we understand uh, how in real time this uh, whole thing work this uh, First DDL I have is create table DBO customer. I'm creating a, a DBO customer table and customer ID integer identity. So it is auto incremental uh, column. And then we have uh, first name that's worker 100 not null. And we have last name worker 100. We have social security worker 10 not null. Then I'm creating constraint and uh, this is called a primary key constraint. So I give the name to the primary key constraint pk underscore f name underscore ssn so that's the that's how you will create the primary key constraint you will say constraint constraint name and then uh, type of the constraint in our case it is primary key so we are saying primary key and then provide uh, the column or columns on which uh, you are creating this primary key constraint in our case we are creating on first name and social security together so we are creating primary key constraint on multiple columns that's good let's run that table is created now we are creating a second table dbo orders we have order id integer and it is auto identity as well so then we have order item name order item amount first name and ssn if you notice here here i had f name and here i have a first name and then uh, I'm going to create the foreign key here. But just to tell you, the column names doesn't really matter when you are creating the foreign key relationship. Uh, they can have different names uh, in the tables. Uh, so in my first table, they were F name. And here I have, I have first name. But I recommend using the same name. So when you join your, uh, jo when you use uh, these column in the join conditions, uh, you always know that, okay, F name is equal to F name. So it's your choice, but I'm gonna leave this one first name, but you can you can see that here, I have SSN here and the same SSN here in the both tables. So they can be same name or you can have different names when you are creating a relationship, primary key and foreign key relationship. Once all the columns you have defined here, then you will be saying constraint, constraint name. So we say FK foreign key orders, let's say orders that, and that's our table. And then we say customer, that's my destination table. And this is the name in convention I developed. So in your case, whatever the name in convention or standards you are using, you can provide. Then I'm saying F name and SSN. So I'm telling which columns are involved. So this is the whole uh, name I have given to my constraint. Then I will say foreign key and then provide the columns on which I would like to create the foreign key constraint. So from orders the table first so i have first name and ssn that's what i have provided then i have to reference so i'm saying references which table so remember we have to have two tables and one of them with the primary key so dbo customer is our first table and this is the, the column we are using f name and ssn the order is very important so if you will try to put in a different order let's say you have created this primary key and uh, uh, and this, this is an order for the primary key. If you will try to put in a uh, different order, you will not be able to create uh, the foreign key constraint. So let's say if I will do something like this, SSN comma first name and the same thing I will do here. But sorry, let me cut this and paste it here. So you see that here when we created the primary key constraint our order was first name and ssn and now i'm creating uh, the foreign key constraint i have reversed the order so if i will try to create this table i will get uh, error so you can see that there is there are no primary or candidate keys in the reference table 
we do have them they, but uh, the by just changing the order it is not able to recognize them so we shouldn't be doing that uh, it should be always in the same order what we have here in the primary key now if we'll go ahead and create the foreign key constraint it should just work fine see it is successful so keep uh, in the same order otherwise you will keep getting the error till you don't fix it uh, now we can go ahead and insert some data so we we are inserting data into dbo's customer first so that's the table with the primary key and uh, we have uh, we have first name last name and ssn and values amir this is my ssn and last name so you see that on this column the first name and ssn together we have primary key there has to be unique always anyways let's insert now the value is inserted and now we can go ahead and insert the value in DBU orders. You see uh, order item name, okay, somebody bought the TV, order item amount, okay, one TV and then uh, we have first name, Amir and social. So you see that this is the exact same value. So we have Amir and uh, SSN. So we can go ahead and insert uh, the value in orders table now. It's completed successfully. And I can select the data and show you customer and select asterisk from DBO orders. You see the data here. We have customer ID, and uh, this is auto identity. We don't care about that. The primary key is created on first name and SSN. So one record is there, and then we this is auto identity as well. We don't care about this order ID, and uh, this is uh, where uh, we are having the foreign key relationship first name and SSN if uh, I will try to insert a record that does not exist in DBO customer so think about that I do not have uh, I have Amir and social security 01 in the DBO customer if I will try to insert Amir and social security 2 in the orders table is going to fail because it's in invalid data I do not have uh, this combination uh, this one and this one in the uh, customer table I have only one record in the customer table that's Amir and social security 01 if I will try to insert in the orders it's not gonna let me if I see here the insert statement conflicted with the foreign key constraint so you see you can see the foreign key constraint name here the conflict occurred in the database tech browsers and table name is DBO customer so you have to have the record first in the primary key uh, table and uh, then you can insert into the foreign key table so in our case if we have to have the same record let's say if I'm interested to insert uh, I can go ahead and let make it uh, this one maybe now I have see I have changed the social here and uh, let's insert this record successfully it is uh, I was telling you you have to have unique record so as we have primary key on two columns our records are unique so you see here as a whole combination Amir 01 Amir 02 so the both are unique as a together so you see, you might see this is Amir is repeating yes it is but as, as the, the primary key is created on multiple columns so this is a, a unique value isn't it Amir and uh, to gather this one and you have Amir and this so see the both values are unique so this part is making them unique okay now as the value 2 is present in DBO customer we can go ahead and insert the value in DBO order so now the value is inserted last time it was failing remember because this value was not there in the DBO uh, customer table and uh, now once after insert we insert the into primary key table that's the DBO customer we were able to insert uh, the value in uh, our foreign key constraint table that's the DBO customer so I hope uh, you learn how to create uh, the primary key on multiple columns how to create the foreign key constraint on uh, multiple columns uh, and uh, keep uh, the order uh, same order uh, what you have in primary key constraint otherwise you will get error you got to know like the sequence in which you need to insert the data uh, in the primary key table and secondary or a foreign key table and uh, then you learn uh, how to uh, create the error and see that why the error happened 
and how to fix it uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video uh, just one thing so I forgot about that the link uh, for the scripts i will put in the description so you can just uh, click on there and it will take you to the scripts so thanks bye